Well, hello, this is uh, the end of day three on our grand adventure of the Gila Wilderness hike. Today was brutal. Today was, uh, <clears throat> we thought day two was bad, um, and it was. It had a lot of very uh, frustrating because of the trail, just trying to find the trail and stay on the trail, and then down trees, over trees, crossing a stream where there's like a waterfall that's half dry and water running through it, and then trying to find where the trail goes across the other side. It was very, it was very frustrating. But then we got into some areas where it was very dangerous almost. I mean, carrying that much weight, trying to walk through those trail areas. Um, I actually fell yesterday and uh, tore up my gorgeous pants. Yeah, terrible knee injury. I'm putting myself in for my own Corporal Heart Award. Um, it's not a joke. It's a real thing. Um, you don't laugh at me. I'm serious. I, I would... I bled on this trail yesterday. No respect. I can't even laugh. So anyway, the old man prevailed again. He did a good job. <laughs> you know, and, you know, uh, anyway. So I'll try to give you a wrap-up. Uh, we, I got the water vlog. You, maybe you watched or not. That put us about halfway. So basically the journey today was going from about 6,200 feet elevation. And we climbed up out of the middle fork which then put us up at 7,200 feet, which neither one of us are from that altitude. Now, Ryan, oh, well, okay, he's saying it's more than seven, eight, dude, we, 7, dude, 7,500 feet. 73,000, 73,000? 73, oh, okay, 7,300 feet and probably two, three inches. Um, so anyway, yeah, that was huge. That, that, was a, <laughs> that was a pretty brutal climb coming up 600 feet and the switchbacks on the um coming out of the middle fork we thought that was kind of tough and then boy wow getting to the prior canyon a cabin no water there got really hot took a break and then loaded up took off and man it was another it was a really brutal climb um up and then finally it was almost like a a mirage we're looking along we were hoping that when we got to this one tank that there would be water there because a lot of people were self-reporting down at the ranger station that there wasn't and so we just we were were we were really hoping it would and we got there and there was water so we were so lucky but it was pretty skanky i mean it was bad we got water enough to drink but it really wasn't enough it was a lot harder um and then it messed up both of our filters so now we're sitting here trying to struggle with getting our filters back clean again um and then once we get those and it'll be good we'll back flush them and get them going we've got nice water now tonight in the west fork um but man and then the descent into hell's hole that's the region of the camp where we're at now um man that was amazing that was a horrible horrible descent i cannot imagine anybody anybody going up that they take mules up that pack trains and stuff up that. i just that's amazing and that was just, just exhausting, exhausting. Um, but finished it. Um, we got our camp set up. Ryan, the chef, a little cranky, but I'm, I'm working with it. I'm not leaving a tip tonight. I figure, you know, look, you know, I mean, I'm paying you all this money to, to guide me through this misery. Um, so we got our, <laughs> we're so looking forward to sleeping. Last night it was awesome. Um, I slept without the fly on top, so I was able to look up and see the stars, which I didn't get to see because it was a full moon. It was so bright last night, uh, but it did get a little chilly, so, but I was comfortable. Ryan was a little chilly. Um, let's see, what else am I forgetting? Don't give me a star date. No more star dates. No, no more star dates. Really? nothing to say see what i have to put up with see this is what i'm dealing with okay so um tomorrow morning we're hoping to get up we'll head back down towards the cliff dwellings and it's a little more than half the way out of here so that's thursday they're also oh i forgot about the weather yes there's supposed to be pretty good chance of storms coming in so we might get to use my oh, rain glass it was yeah, 40% chance of rain, which I wish we'd had yesterday so we'd have more water. But anyway, that's another story. So we're going to do about 10 miles tomorrow, which then Friday that'll put us in about 
five miles and we're really wanting to hit Doc Campbell's and get some of the ice cream and cream soda and then we'll chill out at Clyde's and recover. Um, yeah, I'm trying to jam this in because we're so exhausted. We got in so late. This is probably the latest day that we set camp so quickly and then spending a lot of time trying to get our filters clean so that we can use the water. We still need to load our water and get that ready for tonight, for tomorrow, um, and eat dinner. We just barely got all of our stuff set up and, and another kind of gorgeous scenery, campsite. I mean, can't complain with scenery, just um, I am very thankful for the muscle relaxers that the doctor prescribed prescribed me. So that's been saving me in this uh, some acetaminophen and Tylenol, man. Okay, I guess that's about it for tonight. We will hopefully give another one tomorrow night, or if something really crazy happens, we'll give it to you tomorrow or sooner.